You ever find yourself needing a really quick way to turn your phone's torch on and off? Well, enter Action Notch, a really powerful application that can do just that, plus a bunch more. The app actually gives you up to five different gestures that you can perform on your phone's camera hole punch that you can then set up to activate a variety of actions. So I've got a single touch set up to turn on and off my phone's torch. I've got a double touch set up to launch the camera app. I've got a long touch set up to open Spotify and then a swipe left and a swipe right to skip to the previous and next tracks respectively. Really cool. Second up today is Zone Launcher, a neat hidden app launcher of sorts that works within any application. With the app set up, you simply swipe in from the right of your screen and you'll instantly be greeted with all of your favorite apps and you can then release your finger over whichever app you wanna open and there you go. You can also add additional pages of apps categorized however you like and if you upgrade to the premium version, that'll then unlock a huge amount of tweaks and customizations as well. Following that is Remind, a fresh off the press reminders application with a super clean design to go with. The app's primary goal is to get rid of all of the sometimes unnecessary clutter that comes packed into so many to-do list style applications these days. And so what you end up with in Remind is a really minimal and intuitive UI. You just tap this add reminder button, select the reminder type, change the icon if you like, as well as the color if you're feeling a bit fancy, then you give your reminder a name like empty bins, for example. Then you tap create reminder and that's it. You'll now be reminded at your desired time. Now, because the app is relatively new, it does have some kinks to iron out and the premium version is far too expensive in my opinion, but I think it's got a lot of promise, a fantastic UI with excellent animations and it's already received a bunch of pretty significant updates thus far, so absolutely worth trying out for sure. Now, speaking of amazing UIs and animations, Namida is a beautifully designed music and video player application that seriously stunned me with just how nice its UI is. I mean, just look at these animations as I open and close this music player here and check out how the album artwork dynamically pulses in sync with the music. It is ridiculously fluid and cool and there's a stack of other examples of these beautiful animations throughout other parts of the interface as well. And then on top of the music playing functionality, it also includes video playing functionality, but I'll let you explore that feature on your own if you like. Even without that feature, the app is still worth trying just simply because of how nice the design is. And then while we're on the topic of music related apps, CD Romantic is a really cool app with a super nostalgic design that allows you to convert your favorite music into Vaporwave style music. And before we even get to the functionality, I mean, just have a look at the design here. This is like classic Windows 95 style, which brings back so many memories for me. But then aside from the design, to actually use the app's functionality, you just pick a track that you want to edit, and once selected, you'll get a bunch of these audio effects that will completely change up its style. And the effects aren't like these super corny, low quality effects either. Somehow they actually do sound really cool if you're looking for some trippy, relaxing ambient style versions of your favorite tracks. All right, before we get to the next application, just wanted to take a moment to talk about some amazing new speakers that I recently got, which are actually from the sponsor of this video, Kef. Now, if you've heard of the brand Kef before, then you'll probably be aware that they make some of the world's most premium and well-built speakers, but their latest offering, the LSX2 LTs, whilst they're still not what many would consider outrageously cheap, they are a much more accessible set of speakers. And yet, despite their more affordable price tag, they still utilize Kef's impressive UniQ driver array technology, which places the tweeter precisely at the acoustic center of the bass and mid-range cone, which allows the speaker speakers to disperse sound evenly throughout any room, therefore eliminating that singular sweet spot issue that impacts most other speakers on the market. Plus, the sound quality that they produce is on another level. I've actually been using them at my editing desk for the past two months, and man, they sound incredible. Here, have a listen. I know sometimes life can be tough. To learn more about them or to pick up a pair for yourself, use the first link down in the description below. Okay, halfway down the list and a long time ago, I featured a weather app on the channel called Geometric Weather, which I know for a fact was a lot of users' favorite weather app simply because of how incredible the design was. 
Unfortunately, development on that app died a number of years back and it's no longer available to pick up on the Google Play Store. And so that's where breezy weather comes in. This app is actually a fork of the beautifully designed geometric weather, but it adds in a little bit of its own flair, a bunch of extra features and a set of super clean widgets to go with. And that's about it. But it's nice to know that we finally have a suitable replacement to what was once a much loved weather app. Then we have Unified Remote, which is a super handy app that lets you transform your phone into an all-in-one remote for your computer. You just download and install the Unified Remote server onto your computer from their website. And from there, as long as your devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, you'll be able to use any of these remote options to control your computer from your phone. You can use this basic input option to use your phone as a wireless mouse or keyboard. You can use the file manager option to browse through the various files stored on your computer. Plus, there's also a media remote, great for controlling presentations, and this power mode for controlling a bunch of these power options related to your computer. It's jam-packed with features, dead easy to set up, and more than that, it's just really dang useful as well. And then after that is Pixel Expert, which is a root only application that I did recently feature in my 10 reasons to root your phone video, but it's just so powerful that I wanted to include it in today's video as well. Now on top of being a root only app, Pixel Expert is also designed to work best with AOSP or pixel based ROMs. So keep that in mind, but with the app installed, you'll find that it is absolutely packed to the brim with customization options that'll help you to take your phone's functionality to the next level. There's an option to show the brightness slider when you first swipe into your quick settings panel or to move it to the bottom. You can use this setting to completely hide your navigation bar or to remove the circle from behind the fingerprint sensor icon on your lock screen. And perhaps my favorite feature is that it even lets you set up this slidable flashlight quick settings toggle, which I use all the time. All right, second to last today is PixDot's KWGT, a widget pack filled to the brim with tons of beautiful material inspired widgets. Now, granted, the various widget options that Google has been adding over the years since Android 12 are pretty neat, but in all honesty, there's just so few of them and there's also no way to customize them to make sure that they truly suit your home screen setup. And so that's where PixDot's comes in. Not only does it allow you to have granular control over the material based widgets that it offers, but as of the making of this video, the pack comes with over 130 unique widgets to choose from, giving you a huge amount of options to make your home screen look exactly how you want it to. I actually made this neat home screen combo using widgets 92, 55, 119 and 68 respectively, some of which I've then gone in and edited myself as well. So it truly is an amazing way to make your home screen look incredibly slick and unique. And so finally today we have Superlist, a fantastic app for creating and managing lists of any kind. The app is divided into four key sections. This home page, then there's an inbox page, a tasks page, and a messages page. But whenever you wanna make any sort of list, like a shopping list or a list of books that you've read throughout the year, or even a list of habits that you wanna work on over the next year or so, the idea is that you use Superlist to create and manage them all in the one place. And I really enjoy how simple the app can be if you just want to use it for simple list management. But then if you feel so inclined, you can take the app to another level altogether by creating teams, inviting other users to join your teams, and then by assigning specific tasks or lists to team members, which is some serious functionality. And so there you have it, 10 applications that I reckon are pretty dang cool. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be amazing. But that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.